it. And, uh, uh, you know, that's one of the great conflicts of Alexander as a character is what was his intention? Uh, I mean, the, the the lens, as we as you mentioned earlier, was uh, it's people have had different viewpoints. The French and English colonial empire saw him as sort of a predecessor, especially the British in India, uh, who saw him as their predecessor of uh, you know the con conquest of the Raj. And then later on, as the anti-colonial movements of the mid 20th century happened, uh, for India, bringing that as an example, Alexander became a, a hated figure as a model of the British. And uh, even to this day, a lot of nationalism has risen out of that. And uh, Alexander is a scorned figure. Same in the Persian tradition. Iran is not a huge, the Iranians as a, as a history do not look back as favorably on Alexander as maybe us in the West. So again, it's, it's fascinating to see how trying to piece together this man from our lens point of view is it's really difficult and it does change every generation or so. And it's always fascinating to see how it transfers, even in the last 50 years, like you mentioned.